Have you ever stopped to think about this? Money doesn't care who you are. It doesn't see race, it doesn't recognize religion, and it definitely doesn't care about the family you come from. No, money doesn't have time for any of that. It's not interested in your story, your background, or what you've been through. It doesn't ask questions about your job or what you plan to do with it. That's because money plays by one set of rules, and those rules apply to everyone. No exceptions. Right now, you have the same opportunity as anyone else to become wealthy. Yes, you heard me. You have the same chance as the millionaire down the street, the entrepreneur building an empire, or the person who turned their passion into a thriving business. The only difference? They knew the rules and played by them. And here's the thing. The only person who can stop you from achieving that level of success is you. If you decide to ignore the rules, or worse, play without even knowing them, you're choosing to hold yourself back. Let me be clear. Money doesn't have eyes, ears, or a brain. It's not judging your intentions or trying to figure out who deserves more of it. It's not sitting there deciding whether you're worthy. The only thing that matters to money is if you understand how to make it work for you. It's a game, and the rules are simple. But are you ready to play? In my journey to discover the secrets of wealth, I've learned from some of the most successful people out there. They've built their fortunes, and while they all had different styles and approaches, they all followed the same rules. Now I'm going to share those rules with you. Because once you understand them, nothing can stop you from being rich. Making money is like any other skill. You don't have to stop being yourself to learn it. You just need to open your mind and think in a completely different way. For most of my life, I've dealt with both rich and poor people, and I've learned that the real difference between the two groups is that the rich think like rich people, and the poor think like poor people. We're the ones who give money a metaphorical meaning, turning it into freedom of choice, energy, or the root of all evil, depending on the case. For centuries, money has been associated with power, well-being, and the ability to provide better living conditions for loved ones. Depending on the metaphor you associate with money, it will either bring you closer to or push you away from trying to gain wealth. When you still have a poor mindset, it's like trying to drive a car with one foot on the brake and the other on the gas at the same time. You need to act to win. At work, you're not paid for who you are, but for what you do. The world recognizes and rewards action. It's amazing how people spend day after day analyzing, planning, and organizing, while the most sensible thing to do would be to act. After several years as a financial and stock market coach, I can say that action is what separates winners from losers. Winners take action even if they don't get it right the first time. Winners learn from their mistakes and set things in motion, much like billiard balls reacting in a chain once the first ball is struck. Action creates momentum, which eventually produces results. Have you ever noticed that the last letters of the word satisfaction correspond to the word action? In Latin, the word satis means enough. The Romans already understood that a sufficient number of actions generates satisfaction. You can have all the knowledge in the world, be in the right place at the right time, and have a balanced psychological state. But if you don't act, all of that will be useless. Many people are too lazy to become rich. Some say they want to be, but at most they buy a lottery ticket, hoping that one day luck will be on their side. But they're not ready to make sacrifices, to study, to learn to focus, to change. Most people would love to become rich without effort, by chance, or by a stroke of luck. Money is like a sport. You need to know the rules of the game, have the right coaches, and dedicate time to improving day by day. Remember that money is not the solution. If you're thinking, I wish I had a lot of money, I could solve all the problems in my life, you're completely wrong. Money is like oil for the engine. It allows the gears to run smoothly, but it's not the engine itself. 
For this reason, it can't replace relationships, health, or family. There's only one person responsible for the quality of your life, and that person is you. If you want to succeed, you have to take 100% responsibility for what happens to you, including the results you achieve and produce, the quality of your relationships, your physical and mental health, your financial income, your debts, and your emotions. In short, everything. It's not easy. In fact, many of us are used to blaming something or someone else for everything that doesn't work in our lives. You have to be aware and convinced that you've always had the power to change your life and the lives of others, and that you're capable of achieving the results you set out to accomplish. It's clear that external factors exist, but if they were so decisive, no one would be able to succeed. Yet thousands of people have managed to overcome limiting circumstances by taking full responsibility for their results. If external factors were truly insurmountable, no one would have become rich or achieved their dreams, regardless of their starting point. In reality, it's not external circumstances that limit you. It's you. Money doesn't change people. It's simply an amplifier of who you are. If you're a good person, Having a lot of money will be more appreciated because you'll be able to help a lot of people. If you're greedy and selfish, money will also amplify your negative traits. I believe you get closer to God when part of your money is not for yourself, but for people you don't know, and when you give it without expecting anything in return. In that moment, you are someone who has begun to connect with money. And the most incredible thing is that the more you give, I swear, the more you'll receive. Stay away from people with a poor mindset and surround yourself with rich minds. More than 78% of people in the world have a poor mindset. Now that you know this, the first thing that happens is you start noticing all the other poor minds around you. Surround yourself with poor minds and you'll be a poor mind. Surround yourself with rich minds and you'll have a rich mind. It's that simple. There are areas in life where you have to be drastic because the only thing you have to move forward is your vital energy. That's why the most important thing is to discover the person who drains your energy the most and quietly distance yourself from them. God loves you and helps you as long as you do your part. It's not about being grateful or ungrateful. It's about responsibility. God is everything but don't make him responsible for your failures. He wants the best for you, but you have to act and earn it. Religions and people have distorted the message to justify themselves or reduce their responsibility. Money comes to you because you want it to come, not just because you're praying to God. Doing only that won't help you connect with money. If you want God to come to you, love him, and he will be with you. The same goes for money. If you respect and want it, it will be with you. Until the next video, thank you for watching.